Hundreds of Native American elders gathered this week to celebrate their life and culture. Our Brenda Mack has more. People ask me, what's the secret of my long life? I told them, just keep breathing. <laughs> At 99 years old, Gordon Bailey stands strong in front of a large crowd. Enjoy the two days of this gathering. You don't have to cook or anything. <laughs> He's also the oldest at the sixth annual Red Lake Elders Gathering. Feels good, just like having a having a party, you know. The two-day event provides elders an opportunity to reunite and also inform them on the available resources, such as tribal programs and healthcare services. But today was all about Anisha, which also means just for fun for the elders. To meet different people, that, that's what we are. That's what I like to come and stay home for the last two years. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, you know. I, wasn't, I, I felt this person behind my back, you know. And I looked up and she was putting the sass on me. <laughs> for many elders, this is also an opportunity to share their teachings with the younger generation. Sammy and yeah, my granddaughter was in that immersion uh, school and uh, she's learned the language. A group of children went on stage to perform a song in Ojibwe. For many seniors, this has been a highlight. Makes you feel good, makes your heart feel good. Important factor for our, our gatherings to me is to visit with one another because we're missing that, you know, even between families. We miss that. There's no more extended families in our way of life. As chosen as king for the Relic Nation. You know, I'm going to try my best to share and give what I have to our people, not only our elders, but to our young people. In Red Lake, I hope you can make it next year, okay? Brenna Mack, good luck to you. Lakeland News. Cash prizes were also handed out to elders who performed their music and dance at the talent show. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.